Greetings chosen ones, I'm back with another video. Peace and blessings to you all, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're out there being more than conquerors, doing great things out in your community, for your friends, for your families, all for the glory of God. So today I want to talk a bit more about semen retention and the spiritual dimension to that. Um, yeah, I always think of... Um, you know, your seed as an aspect of God within you and, um, you know, how, how you use that force, how you express it in the world, you know, can, can vary and can make a lot of difference. And um, here's an interesting fact. Did you know that in one load there are enough sperm to create 100 million people? Think about that. That's a lot of power right there, you know. So we can we can use that power. We can we can direct it. We can use it in ways that are beneficial, you know, in terms of the bigger picture. Or, or we can use that in in ways that really aren't really benefiting anything and actually in the long term destructive. So if we look at the bigger picture, you know, we can look at you know um, short term pleasures things like that, and go, well, you know, that's beneficial. But, you know, when you, when, you, when you step back and look at the bigger picture of things, you know, you can see that a lot of things that are, that seem good, you know, in the short term, are actually, you know, destructive in the long term. So this ties in with the idea of, of the flesh, you know, the flesh versus the spirit, you know, um, you know, I believe, you know, I'm a, I'm a believer in Christ, so I, I believe, you know, there's, there's more than just the, the physical component to a person, there is also the spirit. And there's a battle going on between the flesh, which is, you know, it's an earthly creation versus the spirit, which is, is not of this realm. And, uh, you know, we can look at a lot of problems in the world, um, and they're really of a, a, a physical uh, nature, of a, a physical origin. You know, everything is very much governed by the flesh uh, and is acted out, you know, at a physical level. You know, whereas the higher perspective, the bigger perspective is, is looking at things from an aspect of the spirit and, and saying, well, um, you know, what, what is the spirit seeking to do? as opposed to the material, the, the earthly and the flesh. You know, the flesh is very much grounded in, you know, the here and now. You know, it's, it operates at, on a very base level. You know, it's, it's always seeking, um, it's, it, it operates from a place of fear. So it's, it's operating from a place of survival, you know, um, fear, procreation, um, you know, a, a place of lack. You know, so ultimately a place of fear, whereas the spirit doesn't operate from a place of fear, you know, because it sees from a bigger perspective. You know, the, the spirit realizes there's a spiritual realm and that actually, you know, life in the earthly realm is really just a vapor. System as it stands seeks to keep us in a permanent cycle of confusion and struggle. We can look around at current situations in the world, current things going on and say, well, we're living in very confusing, volatile times, but that's only really true if we don't have an accurate context to what is actually happening at this current time. There's a top-down system of control and it's aiming to steer the majority off of a cliff. Uh, at the top of that structure of control, I believe, is the devil himself, you know, who is, you know, according to the Bible, the god of this world, the God of this current age. The secret, I think, really is getting a deeper connection to spirit, you know, really seeking that connection to God, staying grounded in that, you know, then you're not focused on all the madness that is taking part around you all the time, that is constant, constantly clamouring for our attention. You know, look at this fearful thing over here, look at this fearful thing over there. You know, we can stay away from all of that. I believe semen retention is, is a good way of, of focusing our attention, you know, away from all the madness of the physical world. I feel the way forward in these times is to know and understand that 
God has a purpose for us all and our job really is to discover what that purpose is and carry that out in our lives on the earth. So for me, as a believer in Christ, um, yeah, you go once you become a believer, you you receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit dwells within you. You know, your body is now considered a temple that houses the Holy Spirit. So you you're not seeking to to pollute that temple, you know, and and bring things in, you know, whether whether you call that negative energy, I would say it's demonic forces at work. Um, and we're not we're not engaging in things, thoughts and activities that, that are leaving doors open to demonic forces to come in. So we will we, we'll receive the Holy Spirit and then we go through what is known as a sanctification process. You know, there's the idea of like, um, that you hear about in, in the Christian world about turning away from sins. And really it's, it's, it's something we should, we should set as a goal, but it's not something we do in our own strength, by our own will. You hear a lot um, in semen uh, retention community talking about, you know, willpower, uh, the willpower to, to overcome, uh, you know, lust and things like that. But And really, you know, when, if we're talking about someone who isn't a believer in Christ, I mean, don't get me wrong, we, we all have struggles and we all have battles. Um, you know, I think that a lot, a lot of the, the problems we have in the world is, is due to the fallen nature of man, you know, the sin nature of man, which is, is inherent in all of us. But when we actually receive the Holy Spirit through accepting Christ, that Spirit dwells within us and it goes to work in a sanctification process. So all all of the 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 what you call the lusts of the flesh, you know, the cravings, the the the, the fears, the addictions, all of that, start to fall away naturally as the Spirit starts to dwell in you and and take control of the flesh. The idea is as a believer that. You know, when we, we accept Christ, we, we actually uh, died and are buried with him, you know, and we are resurrected as a, as a new creation. So the old man with, with all of the old ways died and is buried and we are born again as a new creation. The semen retention, I believe, is, is primarily a, a, a spiritual practice. Uh, the Apostle Paul mentioned in, in his epistles that, you know, it's better not to touch a woman. So you have to wonder, well, these people, they must have known something. So at the end of the day, you know, I truly do believe that God has a purpose for us all. And if we, we follow God's purpose for our lives, you know, we will be okay. So if this video is useful to you. If you like this video, please like, please share, please subscribe. Do leave me a comment below and I will see you again on the next video. Bye.